Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to use a view bag to fetch uh, a drop downs data uh, using um, uh, the view bag in .NET Core or you can also use that in MVC. So this is how your drop down uh, comes up and this data is fetched from the database and if you want to see my database so uh, this is the table departments and you can see the department names here and uh, we are fetching those names in the drop down list okay so let's try changing those departments and see if that works okay so i have sales it and now i'm going to add another uh, department finance okay let's see if that updated our drop down see this we got finance now what if we want to add a default uh, heading to this drop down so we we have to do if you look at the options we need to add one option which has select got this so this is the default and these are loaded from the database okay guys let's have a look at the coding part you can have a look at this this is on the um, view the view code the the HTML part and uh, on the controller side you can have a look at this is the code so view bag dot department list equals to the database context dot the table dot select x equals to new select list item and text equals to the department name column and value would be the ID okay so this is how we are using um, in uh, view back now um, okay I think uh, that's all I wanted to show you here uh, if you also want to have a look at the um, the entity framework code, I can give it to you from another program. So this is uh, from a different program and uh, you can have a look at the entity framework code here. Like from the variable, then the table, order by variable dot column name descending order select new select list item the same thing dot to list okay all right guys so that was all for this video stay tuned stay connected until we have another one till then happy coding